We're on day 29 of 60 in our countdown to the start of Ramadan by covering daily Muslim inclusion tips so that you and your organization can have your most inclusive Ramadan yet. If this is the first time we're meeting, hi, my name is Rahime, this is who I am and what I do. Something that organizations can do for the benefit of their Muslim staff who are participating in fasting during the month of Ramadan is to ask these Muslim staff members if there are any preferences that they can accommodate around moving meeting times, maybe earlier on in the day, in the afternoon, later on in the day. Many times when I, as a DEI Muslim inclusion practitioner, see recommendations around Ramadan inclusion, it usually is encouraging around the topic of meeting times is to move the meetings to earlier on in the day when Muslims will have eaten more recently because if they have woken up for suhoor or the morning meal, they will have eaten more recently and their blood sugar won't have tanked quite yet. They will still have a little bit of energy from that morning pre-dawn meal. And generally, I can very much see a lot of Muslims preferring to move their meetings earlier on in the day or anything that's going to take more concentration or more of their discipline and willpower to get through their harder more difficult tasks. However, I want to make sure that we are all appreciating that Muslims, just like any other group, are not a monolith and individuals within that group are going to have different preferences. So ideally, what I recommend is going to the Muslims in your organization and telling them, hey, this is what I've learned about being inclusive of you all Muslims during the month of Ramadan. This is one of the things we as an organization would love to offer you as an accommodation is to move meeting times to earlier on in the morning if that would be better for you. But would that in fact be better for you? Is that something, a preference that you have? So make sure that you actually check in with the individual with unique wants and dislikes and likes and idiosyncrasies make sure that you are checking in with those actual individuals instead of learning generalizations which all of this content has to be a generalization because i don't have none of us dei any content creators giving this kind of information we don't have any one or any specific context to be reacting to so we have to speak in generalizations so make sure that you're getting to know the actual people that you are trying to accommodate and weave in that with the accommodations that you're learning here in this countdown series like and follow for more muslim inclusion tips as we count down to the start of Ramadan.